what we did out here yesterday was just kind of amazing. It's, it's fans, we do this for the fans. We go out there, uh, we put a lot of time and effort into this. Uh, we, have a, we have our own little team out there in Charlotte that helps me with this. I couldn't have done this by myself. It's the really studio, fun. it gets done a lot quicker. They got all the money in the world to do it. But man, we got a team of guys that uh, are just great, that love the show and just love to help out. Danny DiGirolamo, uh, Peyton Body. I'm Pete Gilfillan. I was in charge of all the small tasks, you know, gas caps, uh, tires, just taking care of all the loose ends. Carl Marquardt, I took care of the mechanical stuff and supplied the shop and equipment. Harold Thornton, I helped supply the decals, get some parts. Also came from Texas to help them do mechanic work and stuff like that. Don Tregascus, I helped uh, build the rollover ramps and do welding on a generally in the Roscoe Sheriff car roll cage work. Jimmy Mangum, uh, helped Don haul the car up, uh, help with the welding. It might be just a small job for everybody, but you know what? The thing of it is, it's a team. Russell Solberg in the, the bad guy's car, he did a phenomenal turnover. But he cheated. He went back about another 40 feet after we'd already taken off. Uh, Russ, Russ, what are you doing? We're all starting here. He says, you're going to win the bet. He says, yep. He says, I'm going to cheat. And he did, but he turned out a fantastic turnover for us. Uh, what we did also with Corey Eubanks, he, uh, he jumped the general lead. He actually went 193 feet. Um, fantastic. I mean, uh, that bettered it just by about two feet from uh, asphalt to dirt. So uh, we did do what we set out to do. Uh, stunt guys, everybody was fine, had a good time. It was just, uh, it was, it was just a great little show for us. Well, I did the uh, Roscoe turnover. Uh, I was the second one up. Uh, we had a brand new pipe ramp for that that we haven't tried. Um, that's kind of like a, the, the kiss of death. Nobody likes to be the first one off because we don't really know what it does. So I built it. I go ahead and try it. We had uh, Ron Shepard. Uh, he built the cages for him uh, and has helped uh, Don Tregascus. I mean, they just did uh, phenomenal work on the pipe ramps and stuff and getting us all prepped up for this. Everything, when we get ready to come out here, everything is done. I have all the sub guys go in there, check out their cars. That's that, that's that sign off. Hey, we're done. We're ready to go. Then it's up to us. Then you start your sweating a little bit and stuff like that. A little warm out here, but you know, the pressure's on now. You know, let's go, let's go. But what's great is, is we didn't have Paul Baxley here, because boy, if Paul Baxley was here, we'd have really been sweating, because it's, we're gonna do it right now. But what we've got is, is you know, we, we were working off our own cues, which is a little bit better. We didn't have to wait on camera. Everybody was waiting on us, which doesn't happen in the movies. Uh, I never uh, thought when I started this thing, turning these cars over and jumping them that it creates something like this. Camera's ready, you go. If you're in there for another 10 minutes in there sweating and thinking and whatever, it doesn't happen here. So it, this is what makes it so much fun. All of the pressure's off on us. We don't have to do this. We don't have to land any certain way. We just go out, have fun, put on a good show for the fans. And uh, once you get in there and you're strapped in and you know, just kind of make a little bit of approach, the biggest thing is, is that after doing it all these years, if you can't hit the pipe ramp now, you shouldn't be in that car. So it's kind of like more of a show for the fans. And like I say, is, is if we can't do it now, and we don't know where that wheel's at, we're in trouble. So what we do is we get ready, we do our approach. We have, um, we have just a little bit of time uh, just to think what we're gonna do and uh, go back in there. The last thing we do is cinch everything in. We usually have two guys with us. you are getting in there, tighter, tighter, tighter. Pull a little bit this way, tighter, tighter. Gloves, dex brace. And the last thing that we do is, is you know, the uh, we all use the uh, Hutchins device in this, and something new that NASCAR uses, and we like it a lot. But it's it's very uncomfortable. We're in there so tight that you can't move your head. Who had that, Russell? What it is, have somebody reach over there, hit your switches, start your car. Light bars on, that's my signal that we're ready to go. Gives a signal for the crowd to let them know that we're ready. He drops his hands, we're going. Head to that ramp, hit that thing, try to get going as fast as you can, and then hang on. There's where your e-ticket ride comes in. 
So then, after that, you're in the air, you're kind of hanging, hanging, and all of a sudden, you look at the sky, you see this okay, and they go, last thing I remember is, it's like, oh, I'm going to hit on the side of my head again. Ah, we pushed it over, got my wits about me. We're in there, we just make sure there's no fire. We're ready to get out, had a good time. Wave to the crowd, and hey, we're all done. I thought the show was fantastic. It was beautiful. I mean, for what we did, we usually don't work with live crowds. You know, when we're doing something, no one's around, just the cameras. And uh, for we pulled it off, and everything went great. Everyone just loved it. It was safe, fast, and I, I really can't say it. it was perfect. Everything went perfect. It's not that simple, it's just, you know, what we do. It's all preparation, and then it's about 30 seconds of concentration. That's it. This, uh, this show here, a lot of hard work gone into it. Try to make this thing as safe as possible. Have a good time. Gonna do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I'm gonna go ahead and do the Roscoe turnover. Figured uh, Gary Baxley. Um, I'm another one there. I've worked for him on the show since day one. So uh, we put him in uh, the Enos car. Okay, here he comes. Gary Baxley's coming right now. Everybody look at the police car coming up. Russell Solberg, uh, you know, uh, he used to deal uh, uh, double uh, Fred Dreyer on Hunter. So what we did with him is we put him in a little Sheriff ND car, or a little ND car, bad guy's car, and uh, we got enough room in there for him, Russell 6'4". Corey, he's the one that's got the jump vest. That's especially with him.
I thought the gentle lead jump was the best. Uh, I mean, it was just, he hit it perfect. It was totally the, one of the best stunts I've ever seen. That's what I wanted to see the most. It was just a gentle lead really jump and really tear up. Just seeing the general lead jump and break the old world record was just, uh, just everything you need.